Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, you make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. Today I'll be teaching you how to make a bell sleeve hooded shrug, which is a mouthful to say, but thankfully it's a lot simpler to make. For this hooded classic, we went modern whimsical for the theme, so there's big bells, a non-pointed hood, and lots of ribbing, which I'm always happy about. Speaking of, if ribbing is your thing, or any other type of crochet for that matter, you are in the right place. <laughs> we have hundreds of beautiful modern crochet patterns and designs, including new patterns weekly, so consider clicking the bell to subscribe and you'll never miss an upload. Also, do me a huge favor and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, or two thumbs down if you don't. Either way, it's a great way to show support, so I can keep putting out free tutorials every Wednesday and Sunday. Now, it's time to get on the show, so without further ado... For this project, any Category 4 yarn will work, but I used a total of 325 grams of yarn, and that's 550 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5.5 and, and 6 millimeter hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order, and enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us if you prefer getting up early or sleeping in. Now, while I enjoy sleeping in, I prefer getting a jump start on the day. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using three stitches for this project, and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. And half double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video, so let's get started. Getting this top started, we're all going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Then we're all going to grab our 5.5mm hook, and we're all going to start by making a chain starting about 1 inch underneath our underarm, down to where we want the bottom of this shrug to be. Now you could make this regular sweater length, but since I want mine to be a shrug, I'm going to measure from one inch underneath my underarm to about mid chest. So for me, that's just a chain of five, and that is one inch or two centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're gonna get started on our first row, which is a half double crochet row. So we're all gonna start by blocking off that last chain and do a chain two. That chain two doesn't count as a stitch, we just need the height. And we're going to start our row off with a decrease of two half double crochets. So we're all going to yarn over and insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook. So bring our hook down, insert, and pull through. We are then going to insert our hook into that following chain, insert your hook, pull through for a total of one, two, three, four loops on our hook, then yarn over, pull through all four. Now that's our decrease of two half double crochets, and this decrease end is the bottom of our piece. So I like to insert a stitch marker into the end of every decrease row, so we can easily indicate what row we're working on. But right after we insert our stitch marker, we're now going to put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one. So to do a regular half double crochet, we're all going to yarn over, insert your hook into that following chain, pull through, pull through all three, once more, yarn over, into that following chain, pull through, pull through all three. Now I have one chain left, and into our last chain we're now going to do an increase of three half double crochets. So yarn over, and into that last chain we're going to insert with three half double crochets. So insert, pull through, pull through, there's my first half double, here is my second half double, and here is my third half double crochet, and now our row one is complete. Now the increase end for this portion of our front panel is the top. So getting started on our following row, which is our row two, we're gonna start the row off with an increase of three half double crochets again. So chain two, and flip our work. We're now going to be working into the back loop so we can get a really pretty ribbing. So we're all gonna yarn over, find that last stitch from our previous row, and we're going to insert into that back loop, or the loop that's furthest away from us. We're going to pull through, 
pull through three. There's our first half double. Let's do two more into that same back loop. So insert, pull through, pull through three. And then once more, insert, pull through, pull through three for an increase of three back loop half double crochets to start off our row two or any even number row. From here, we will be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach the end of the row. We are now at the end of our row two. From here, it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows and within the back loops for every row until we get a shoulder portion that can reach from mid underarm over to the corner of our underarm. So let's just get started on our following row to do our decrease together again. Let's all start with a chain two and flip our work. Now getting started on every odd number row, we're going to start with a decrease of two half double crochet. So yarn over into that last stitch from our previous row, pull through into that following stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one. We put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one, and into that last back loop, we're now going to do an increase of three half double crochets. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitches back loop with one half double, with our second half double, and with our third half double crochet. And don't forget, since we started this row off with a decrease, I'm going to be inserting my stitch marker into the edge of this row so I know where the bottom is and so I know which rows I'm going to be decreasing into. From here, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we get a portion, like I said, that can reach from mid underarm over to the corner of our underarm. And I will meet you back right after an odd number row or along the top so we can get started on our shoulder from there. I am back with my underarm portion. I have a total of seven rows. My width is just about three inches or eight centimeters. And my total underarm height is about four inches or 10 centimeters. And now what we're going to do from here is make a chain that reaches all the way up to the top of our shoulder. So I needed a total of four inches or 10 centimeters. So I made a chain 15. And from here, we're going to continue on with our half double crochet row. So once we have our chain, we're going to chain two and flip our work. And now that we've flipped our work, we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet and into that third chain from our hook. Insert with a half double crochet and put one half double crochet into every chain. And now that we've put one half double crochet into every chain, we're now at the body. So we're now going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So twist your work over and we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that last stitches back loop with a half double crochet and continue putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. We have now put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And now from here, we're going to do more back loop half double crochet rows, starting every odd number row with a decrease. And we are going to keep the top end nice and blunt. So we have just finished up our even number row. Getting started on our following row, which is our odd number row, we're going to chain two and flip our work. And we're going to start off our even number row with a decrease. So yarn over into that first stitches back loop, pull through into that next stitches back loop, pull through, yarn over, pull through all four of those loops. And from here, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. But don't forget to insert your stitch marker into the end of that decrease row. Now from here, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows. So every even number row will just be one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And every odd number row is going to start with a decrease of two back loop half double crochets then one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. We're going to continue to repeat these two rows until we have a shoulder portion that reaches the base of our neck. And I'll meet you back right after an even number row or along the bottom. I am back with my shoulder portion. I now have a total of 16 rows and my width is roughly seven inches or 18 centimeters. And now from here, we're going to get started on the neckline. So first things first, we're going to want to insert our stitch marker into a stitch from the top, right where the base of our neck is. I inserted my stitch marker into the 10th stitch from the top, and that's just about two and a half inches or six centimeters. And now from here, 
we're going to do our following back loop half double crochet row until we reach our stitch marker. But for this neckline portion, we are not going to be doing our decreases within the bottom because we don't want the bottom to come to a point. We want it to have a really smooth curve. So from where we're at, since we should all be along the bottom, we're going to chain two, flip our work, and just put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. So we've put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our stitch marker. And all we're going to do from here is chain two, flip our work, and then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch all the way down. So this neckline portion is not going to have any increases or decreases. So we're just going to continue to repeat this row working our way across our chest until we reach the other side of the base of our neck. And then I will meet you back along the top or right after an odd number row so we can get started on the shoulder right after that. I am back with the entirety of my neckline finished. I now have a total of 29 rows and my width is just about 12 inches or 31 centimeters. We all should have ended along the top. So now we're going to make a chain to get started on our shoulder. So the chain that we're about to make is going to be for the same amount of stitches that we skipped when we got started on our neckline. So for those of you that have my numbers, I've skipped a total of 10 stitches. So since we're along the top right here, I made a chain 10. So once we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain two, that doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain. And now we're going to put one half double crochet into every chain. So yarn over, insert your hook into that chain that we blocked off or the third chain from our hook with a half double crochet and continue putting one half double crochet into every chain. Now that we've put one half double crochet into every chain, we're now going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch to keep up with the ribbing. So turn your work over if you have to and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. We will not be doing our increases just yet. I'll just meet you back at the end of the row. So our first shoulder row is finished. And now we're going to get started on our following row, which is an odd number row. And since we would like for our piece to have a curve along the bottom, at the beginning of every odd number row, we're going to start with an increase to mirror the decreases that we did over here. So right after this first shoulder row, do a chain two and flip our work. Since we are along the bottom, let's get started with our increase. So we're going to yarn over into that first stitches back loop, insert with one half double crochet, and then into that same back loop with a second half double crochet, and just like how we did on the other side, insert your stitch marker into the bottom of this increase row. So we know which rows we're going to need to increase into. It's a little bit easier to see. And from here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. From here, we're going to continue to repeat these two rows. Every even number row is going to be just one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And then every odd number row is going to start with an increase of two back loop half double crochets making sure to insert your stitch marker into the edge of that stitch, and then one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. We're going to continue to repeat these two rows until we have the same amount of shoulder rows as the other shoulder portion that we have, and then I will meet you back to get started on the underarm. So my second shoulder portion is all finished. I now have a total of 38 rows, and my width is just about 16 inches or 41 centimeters, and now we're going to get started on our second underarm portion to finish up our front panel. So what we're going to have to do first is insert our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made that reaches all the way up to our shoulder. So for those of you that have my numbers, I made a chain 15. So I inserted my stitch marker into the 15th stitch along the side. Next, since we all should be along the bottom, starting our next odd number row, we're going to chain two, flip our work, Start the following row with an increase of two back loop half double crochets, and we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving three stitches right for our stitch marker. So we've started our first underarm row with an increase of two back loop half double crochets, and we put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we should all have one, two, three stitches left right before our stitch marker. Now to match our underarm on the other side, we're going to do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. So let's all yarn over, insert our hook into that third to last back loop, pull through into that second to last back loop, pull through, and then into that last back loop and pull through. 
we should all have a total of one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook. So yarn over, pull through all five, and our first underarm row is finished. Now let's get started on our second underarm row, so chain two and flip our work. Now working our way down towards the bottom, we're going to start this row off with a decrease of three back loop half doubles, and then finish off the row with one back loop half double into every stitch. So start with a yarn over, insert into that first stitch's back loop, pull through. Into that second stitch's back loop, pull through, and then into that third back loop, pull through for a total of one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook, pull through all five. And now from here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Now from here, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows. So every odd number row is going to start with an increase of two back loop half double crochets, one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have three stitches left, and then we're going to do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets into the last three stitches. Every even number row is going to start with a decrease of three back loop half double crochets, and then one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And that's it. We're just going to continue to repeat these two rows until we have the same amount of rows as our first shoulder portion. When we do, do a chain up of one and cut. So I am back. I have just finished up my underarm portion and I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row. So the entirety of my front panel is now finished. Now we're going to get started on our back panel. I actually have a little bit of that finished up, so I'm gonna talk you guys through it, but it's going to be pretty simple. So we're all gonna start by making a chain for the same amount of chains that we made when we got started with our front panel. So for those of you that have my numbers, I made a chain five. So getting started on the back panel, I will now make a chain five. Now for the back panel, we are not going to be doing any increases or decreases for the bottom of our piece because we want that to be straight across. So once we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain, do a chain two, yarn over preparing for a half double crochet, and we're going to put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one because we'll still be doing the increases and decreases for the top of our underarm. Now that we put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one, we are still going to do our increase of three half double crochets along the top. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Now getting started on our row two, we're going to chain two, flip our work, start off this row with an increase of three back loop half double crochets. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And right after we finish that row, it's going to be a repeat of those two rows. So every odd number row is going to be a back loop half double crochet into every stitch while doing an increase of three back loop half double crochets into the last. And into every even number row, we're gonna start with an increase of three back loop half double crochets and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So everything along the top is exactly the same, but as you guys can see, the bottom is going to be completely blunt. Once we have that underarm portion finished, we're going to make the same chain that we made for the front panel that led all the way up to the shoulders. So for those of you that have my numbers, I made a chain 15. So for the back panel, I'm going to make a chain 15 as well. And then we're gonna be doing back loop half double crochet rows, working all the way across our back. And that is going to be for the same amount of rows that we have, from our first shoulder row all the way across to our last shoulder row, but obviously without the neck hole cutout that we have right here. Once we've made our way all the way across, we should end along the bottom, and I'll meet you back to talk you through how we're going to do the underarm for the back panel. So we've made our way all the way across with our back panel. Now we're gonna get started on the underarm portion for our back panel. So we're all gonna start by inserting our stitch marker into the same amount of chains that we made that led all the way up to the shoulder. It's going to be the same for the front and the back panel. And I made a total chain of 15. So for my second underarm within the back, I inserted my stitch marker into that 15 stitch. Now from here, we're going to chain two, flip our work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have three stitches left. And I'll meet you back just to decrease once more. We have put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we have one, two, three stitches left right before a stitch marker. 
And now, just like the front panel, we're going to do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. So we're all going to yarn over. Insert your hook into that third to last back loop. Pull through. Second to last back loop. Pull through. And into that last back loop. Pull through for a total of five loops on our hook. Then we're going to yarn over. Pull through all five. And just to get started on the following row, we're going to chain two and flip our work. We're going to start this row off with a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. So yarn over. Insert your hook into that first stitches back loop. Pull through. Second stitches back loop. Pull through. Third back loop. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through all five. And that is it. Continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Now from here, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows. Every odd number row is going to be one back loop half double crochet into every stitch while doing a decrease of three back loop half double crochets into the last three stitches. Then every even number row is going to start with a decrease of three back loop half double crochets and finish the row off with one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And we're going to continue to repeat those two rows until we have the same amount of rows as all of our other underarm portions. Once we do, do a chain of a one and cut. All right, so the entirety of my back panel is completely finished. I have a total of 45 rows, just like my front panel, and my width is still 18 and a half inches or 47 centimeters. And now we're going to seam everything together, starting with our shoulders. So we're all gonna start by placing our front panel on top of our back panel. Then we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook Pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And now from here we're going to single crochet across, making sure we're working into both the front and the back panel at the same time. And since we have a bunch of side rows to work into, we're going to be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row that we have. So let's all start by finding our first side row. This is mine right here. I'm going to insert my hook into that top loop within the front panel. Find that same side row within the back panel and insert into that top loop within the back panel as well. Then we're going to single crochet everything together. Let's do this again. Into that following side row, I'm going to find that top loop and insert my hook in through there. Find that following side row within the back panel. Find that top loop and insert my hook in through that top loop as well with one single crochet. And since we're into the second side row, we're going to be doing two single crochets into there. The second single crochet should be a little bit easier since everything should already be gathered. So insert your hook into that same top loop within the front panel. Also same top loop within the back panel and single crochet. And we're going to continue this making our way all the way down. So let's just do one more set together. Let's find our following side row within the front panel. Insert into that top loop. Side row into the back panel. Insert with just one single crochet. And then into that following side row two single crochets. So into the top of that following side row, insert your hook. Following side row, with insert your hook and single crochet and one more single crochet into the top of those same stitches. And that's it. We're going to continue doing this, making our way all the way down. When we don't have any more stitches left, do a chain up of one and cut. Now that our shoulder seams are all finished, the next thing we're going to seam is our sides. So let's all make sure that our work is still flipped wrong side out, meaning the seam that we have for the shoulder is along the outside. And we're going to be inserting our hook into the bottom corner stitch of both the front and the back panel. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure. And now we're going to do another single crochet seam, but this one's a little bit easier because we have actual stitches to work into. So let's all start by finding that first stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, first stitch into the back panel, insert your hook, and single crochet. Let's do this again. Into that next stitch into the front panel, insert your hook, next stitch into the back panel, insert, and single crochet, and that's it. Continue doing this until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut. So now that everything is all seamed up, the next thing we're going to do is our sleeve. So first things first, we're going to make sure that our work is slipped right side out now, and then we're going to be inserting our hook into our stitch that's nearest to our side seam. 
Then right after that, we're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and do a chain up of one to secure. Now getting started on our sleeve, we're going to do a single crochet row just to clean up our edge. And we do want to make sure that we're working clockwise or to the left so we show the front of our single crochet so it looks nice and clean. So, working our way up our underarm portion, we have a bunch of side rows to work into. We're going to be alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. So finding our first side row, this is mine right here, I'm going to find that top loop and insert my hook in through there. And if you're like me, you should have some tail ends. I'm just going to place that over my hook so that I don't need to weave those in later. All I'm going to do from here is single crochet once. Let's do that again. This is my following side row right here. Into that side row, I'm going to be inserting with two single crochets. So there is one, and then there is two single crochets into that same side row. Continue alternating between one to two single crochets into every side row. Now I've just put one single crochet into every side row, and now we're going to put one single crochet into every stitch, working my way up and over my shoulder. But right before we get started with that, we're going to remember the amount of single crochets that we did, working over our underarm portion. For those of you that have my numbers, I have a total of 11 single crochets here. We're going to need that for the following row, but once we've made our way all the way up and over with our single crochets, we should have some side rows to work into within the back panel. So when we reach that, continue to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row, and then slip stitch into that chain space. So our single crochet row is all finished. Now getting started on a row two, we want to make sure that we are still working clockwise or to the left. So right after we slip stitched into that chain space, we're all going to chain one, and we can get started on our first decrease row. We're all going to start by putting one single crochet into every stitch, for the same amount of stitches that we did, working into our underarm. For those of you that have my numbers, I did a total of 11 single crochets, so I will now be doing 11 single crochets. Now that I have my 11 single crochets, we're now going to do a decrease of two single crochets. So insert your hook into that following stitch, pull through, into the stitch right after that, pull through, then yarn over, pull through all three of those loops. That is our decrease of two single crochets. From here, we're going to put one half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the same amount of stitches as single crochets that we did for our underarm, plus an additional two. That additional two is saved for our decrease. So since I did a total of 11 single crochets, plus two, I will meet you back when I have 13 stitches left. So I've made my way all the way around with my half double crochets. I've left my 13 stitches, and now what we're going to do is do a decrease of two single crochets, and then one single crochet into the rest of our stitches. So to do our decrease again, we're going to insert our hook into that following stitch, pull through into the stitch right after, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops, and finish up this row with one single crochet into every stitch. Now my row two is all finished. From here on out, getting started on our following row, we are now going to chain and flip our work so that we can match the ribbing that we have for the body. So right after we slip stitched into that chain space, we're all going to chain one and flip our work. So now that we have flipped our work, each of our odd number rows will not have any decreases. So what we're going to do is start with one back loop single crochet into the same amount of stitches that we did for our underarm. So I did a total of 11 single crochets, so I will now be doing 11 back loop single crochets. So finding that last stitch from our previous row, insert into that back loop with our first single crochet. And now that I've put one back loop single crochet into every stitch, we're now going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way up and around, leaving the same amount of stitches that we did for our underarm portion. And now that we've made our way all the way up and over with our back loop half double crochets, we should have left the same amount of stitches that we did for our underarm. Now we're going to close off with one back loop single crochet into every stitch and then slip stitch into that chain space. So our rows one, two, and three are now all finished. It's now going to be a repeat of rows two and three, so just getting started on our following row four or any even number row for this portion, we're all going to chain one and flip our work. 
Now we're going to start by putting one back loop single crochet into the same amount of stitches that we did for our underarm portion. So for me, 11 back loop single crochets. Now right after our back loop single crochets, we're going to do a decrease of two back loop single crochets. So into that following stitches back loop, pull through, also into that following stitches back loop, pull through, pull through all three. And now from here, one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way up and over, leaving the same amount of stitches that we did for our underarm plus an additional two for our decrease. So I've made my way up and over with my back loop half double crochets and now we're going to finish off our row four or our even number row with a decrease of two back loop single crochets and then one back loop single crochet into every stitch till we reach the end of the row. So to do our decrease of two back loop singles just once more, insert your hook into that following stitches back loop, pull through, following stitches back loop, pull through, pull through all three, and now one back loop single crochet into every stitch. All right, so now we have our rows one, two, three, and four all finished. From here, we're gonna continue to repeat rows three and four until this portion that we have reaches over our shoulder and is completely horizontal on our arm when we wear it. Now working the shoulder portion, we're actually trying to do two things. We're trying to get our shoulder portion to be nice and snug on our arm. That's what the decreases are for. And we also need it to be horizontal on our arm once we get started with the length so that we don't get a buckle right where our underarm is when we wear it. Now this may be a little bit different for everyone since everyone's numbers is a little bit different. But the main thing that we want to do in this portion is to get our sleeve to be horizontal. Now if it's completely horizontal, but it's not as tight as you would like the sleeve to be, that's completely fine. We can always tighten up our sleeve once we go in with the length with our following half double crochet rows in the following section. But I'll teach you how to do that once when we get there. But go ahead and get this portion all finished up and I'll meet you back right after an odd number row so we can get started on the length of our sleeve right after that. All right, so I am back with the shoulder portion of my sleeve. I have a total of 15 rows. And now from here, since my sleeve is now completely horizontal, we're going to do the length of our sleeve, but we're going to start by doing a few decrease rows first because this width that I have isn't quite as tight as I would like for it to be. So right after our last slip stitch into that chain space, we're going to chain two and flip our work. Now for this decrease portion of our sleeve, we're going to be doing a decrease into every other half double crochet row. And our decreases are now going to be the first two and the last two stitches, and then just one back loop half double crochet into the rest of our stitches. So right after that chain two and flip, we're gonna yarn over, preparing for a decrease of two back loop half doubles. Find that last stitch from our previous row, insert, pull through, into that following stitch, pull through for a total of four loops on our hook, then yarn over, pull through all four. And from here, put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last two. So we've made our way all the way around with our back loop half double crochets, leaving the last two, and now we're going to close off this decrease row with a decrease of two back loop half doubles. So let's all yarn over, insert our hook into that second to last stitch, pull through into the stitch right after that one, which should be our last stitch, pull through, then yarn over, pull through all four, and now to finish off this row, we're gonna slip stitch into that second chain that we made when we started this row. So we're gonna count up one, count up two, into that second chain, we're gonna insert our hook, Yarn over, pull through everything, and now our first decrease row for the length is all finished. Like I said, we're gonna be decreasing into every other row until this becomes as snug as we would like for our sleeve to be. So just as a refresher, we're going to chain two, flip our work, and since this following row that we're about to do is an odd number row, we are not gonna be doing any decreases. So just make your way all the way around, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. Then continue to repeat these two rows until our sleeve becomes as snug as we would like, and I'll meet you back right after an odd number row. The decreasing portion of my sleeve is now all finished. I just did an additional four rows, giving me a total of 19 rows now, and now we're just going to be doing back loop half double crochet rows, now without any increases or decreases until we are about one inch past our elbow. So right after our last row, all we're gonna do is chain two, Flip our work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. When we have that, I will meet you back right after another odd number row 
and then we can start to bell out our sleeve from there. All right, so I am back and I now have the length of my sleeve that I need right before we get started on our bell. So I now have a total of 33 rows. And from here, we're gonna switch out to our six millimeter hook to get a flow of your sleeve, then chain two and flip our work. We're all gonna start by putting one back loop half double crochet into the first 10 stitches. So I am back and I put one back loop half double into the first 10 stitches. And into that following stitch, we're now going to do an increase of two back loop half doubles. So yarn over and into that following back loop, there is one half double. Into that same back loop, a second half double. And from here, we're gonna repeat this for the rest of this row. So one back loop half double crochet into each of the next 10 stitches. Into the stitch right after that, an increase of two back loop half double crochets. And we're going to continue this to reach the end of the row. So our first increase row for our bell sleeve is finished. After every increase row, our two following rows is just going to be a back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases. So right after we have slip stitched into that second chain that we made when we start off this row, we're gonna chain two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, and then do a following row with one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. I will meet you back when we have a total of one, two, three rows for our bell sleeve finished. Okay, so I am back and we have a total of one, two, three rows for our bell sleeve portion. Our first row was our increase row and our two following rows were our two half double crochet rows with no increases and no decreases. So from here on out until we get the length of the bell sleeve that we want, it's going to be a repeat of these three rows. So let's just get started on our following increase row which is going to be exactly the same as our previous one. So right after we've slip stitched into that chain space, let's chain two and flip our work. So getting started on our following increase row, we're going to yarn over and put one back loop half double crochet into the first 10 stitches. And now that we have our first 10 back loop half double crochets into that following stitch, insert with an increase of two back loop half doubles. And from here, another set of 10 back loop half double crochets then an increase of two till we reach the end of the row. Our following two rows are going to be a back loop half double crochet row with no increases and no decreases into each. And I will meet you back when we have a total of six rows for our bell sleeve started. So I am back and I have my first six rows for my bell sleeve all finished. So just to show you where my blue stitch markers are are the rows where I did my increase. So we did 10 back loop half doubles and then an increase and repeated that all the way around two back loop half double crochet rows after that with no increases and no decreases. And then our following row was another increase row. So another 10 back loop half double crochets, then an increase into the following stitch and repeated that all the way around again. And then another two back loop half double crochet rows with no increases and no decreases. From here, we're just going to continue to repeat these three rows until we get the length of the bell sleeve that we want. And once we have that, do a chain up of one and cut. I am back and I have just finished up my bell sleeve. Now I have a total of 57 rows and my length is 22 inches or 57 centimeters. And I did do a chain up of one and cut right after my last row. And all we're gonna do from here is just repeat everything we did here on the other side. So now that both of our sleeves are all finished up, the last thing that we're going to do is our hood. So right before we get started with our hood, we're all going to insert our stitch marker into the middle row that we have within the front panel. So all I did was found my first side row here and my first side row on the other side and just counted in my rows two at a time until I found my one middle row. And we should all just have one middle row. So for those of you that have my numbers, I've inserted my stitch marker into my seventh row from the edge. And now from here, we're gonna make sure the work is flipped right side out, right side up, and we're going to flip our work over looking at the back. We are now going to insert our five and a half millimeter hook into any one of the side rows that we have along the back of our neckline. Insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through to a chain up of one to secure. And now all we're gonna do is alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. And then working our way down our front panel, we should have some regular stitches. So one single crochet into each of those stitches as well. So let's just do the first few. So finding our first side row right here, let's insert our hook into that top loop and insert with a single crochet. Again, into that following side row, into that top loop, insert with two single crochets. So there's one, 
and then there's two. Now we're going to continue to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. Once we reach the front panel, put one single crochet into every stitch, and then working our way across our neckline, we're going to continue to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row, making sure that once we reach the side row with our stitch marker into it, insert your stitch marker into that stitch, and make your way all the way around. Once we do, slip stitch into that chain space, do a chain up one and cut, and then I will meet you back. So now that our single crochet row is done, we are about to get started on our hood. And right before we move on, try on our piece and make sure that our neckline can fit around our head. This single crochet row is going to be as wide as our neckline can stretch. So if it's a little too tight, reduce some stitches with a looser grip. Or if it's a little too loose, reduce some stitches with a tighter grip. But once we know everything fits, insert your 6mm hook into our stitch marker stitch along the front panel. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook pull through and do a chain up of two. That does not count as a stitch. That is our turning chain. And all we're gonna do is put one half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. And our last stitch is going to be worked into that stitch marker stitch again. So just to do the first one, we're gonna yarn over into that same stitch marker stitch because that chain two does not count as a stitch. We're gonna insert with a half double crochet. And then from here, put one half double crochet into every stitch. So we've made our way all the way around with our first half double crochet row. All we're gonna do is chain two, flip our work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way around. At the end of the row, chain two, flip our work and then repeat. Now we're gonna continue to repeat our following back loop half double crochet row until we have a hood that reaches all the way up to about the crown of our head. And then I'll meet you guys back so we can get started on the middle portion together. So I am back with the entire height of my hood. I have a total of 25 rows and that is not including our first single crochet row. That's just counting from our first half double crochet row. And from here, we're going to get started on the middle portion of our hood. So right before we get started on that, we're going to need to insert our stitch marker into any stitches that's in multiples of three, counting from the outer edge to make the width of our head. Now, some quick tips that I have is the wider this middle portion is, the shorter the hood is gonna be, meaning that we won't have a very deep hood. So to get a more even looking hood, I suggest to take a measurement from the edge of your eyebrow across your face to the other edge of your eyebrow. Now I need a total of five inches or 13 centimeters. So I inserted my stitch marker into the 21st stitch from the edges. Now I have a total of five inches or 13 centimeters right in between, and now we can get started on our hood. So let's make sure that our work is still flipped right side out and let's flip our work over so that we're looking at the back. So we're all gonna start by inserting our same six millimeter hook into the stitch that we have that's right next to our stitch marker stitch, but working along the outer edge. We're going to insert our yarn onto our hook, pull through, and now we're going to do a half double crochet row. And our first half double crochet is going to be worked into that stitch on the other side of our stitch marker. So we're not gonna be working into that stitch marker stitch at all. So we're gonna yarn over and insert our hook into that following stitch, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. And we're gonna continue to put one half double crochet into every stitch until we're worked into the stitch right before our stitch marker on the other side. Now we have worked our way across with our first half double crochet row and now we're going to need to connect it into the base and the base is just going to be all the stitches on the other side of our stitch marker. So just like how we connected our first row, we're going to slip stitch it into that second stitch into the base. So we're going to count that stitch marker stitch and then into that following stitch, insert with a slip stitch to close off this row. And that slip stitch does not count as a stitch, that's just our turning chain. And now from here, we're going to do more back loop half double crochet rows. So in order to work our way up to our following back loop half double crochet row, slip stitch just into that following stitch into the base and flip our work. And now we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch working our way across. So starting with the yarn over, making sure that we're skipping those two stitches that we just worked into the base and finding the top of the last half double crochet from our previous row, insert into that back loop with a half double crochet and continue with one back loop half double crochet until we reach the end of this row. So now that we've made our way all the way down with our second row, 
for the middle portion of our hood, which is just one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, we're going to connect it into the base. So from here, we're going to find that next available stitch into the base, which this is mine right here, and insert with a slip stitch. And now our row two is finished. Now it's going to be a repeat of our two previous rows and all within the back loop, so let's just get started on the following row together. So to get started on our odd number rows, we're going to be slip stitching into the following two stitches into the base. So there's one slip stitch, there's our second slip stitch, none of those slip stitches worked into the base count as a stitch, and we're going to flip our work. And now we're going to make our way across, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. So we aren't working into any of those slip stitches worked into the base, we're going to yarn over, find that last half double crochet from our previous row, and insert into that back loop with our first half double crochet, and put one half double crochet into every back loop to reach the end of the row. And we have made our way all the way across with our row three, and to connect every odd number row into the base, we're going to slip stitch into that second stitch into the base. So here's our first stitch, and here's our second. Into that second stitch, slip stitch into there to close off our odd number row, and just get started on our following even number row, we're going to be slip stitching up just one stitch, and flip our work. Now making sure that we're not working into those slip stitches into the base, we're going to yarn over, find that last half double crochet from our previous row, and insert with a back loop half double, and make our way across with one back loop half double crochet into every stitch. And for this middle section, our rows 1, 2, 3, and 4 are nearly finished, let's just connect our row 4. So connecting every even number row, we're going to slip stitch just into that next available stitch, into the base, and that's it. From here, we're going to continue to repeat our two previous rows until we don't have any more stitches left to work into. When we don't, do a chain up of one and cut. So I am back. We have just finished up the middle portion of our hood, and we are all done with that section. And we're almost done with the whole piece. We just need to clean up some edges. So let's all start by cleaning up the edge of our hood. We're going to insert our same six millimeter hook into that middle stitch that we have into our front panel. And then we're going to do a single crochet row. So let's all start by inserting our yarn onto our hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And now into every side row, we're going to alternate between one to two single crochet into every side row. And then when we reach our stitches, just one single crochet into every stitch. So let's just do the first few side rows together. This is my first side row that I have right here. I'm going to insert my hook into that top loop and single crochet once. This is my following side row. I'm going to insert my hook into there with two single crochets. So there's one, and then there's two. And then that's basically it for this portion. Continue doing this, making our way all the way up and around. And then once we don't have any more side rows left to work into, slip stitch into that middle stitch that we have and do a chain up of one and cut. So once when the single crochet row along our hood is finished, we're now going to do a single crochet row along the bottom to clean it up. So making sure that our work is slipped right side out and right side up, we're going to insert our five and a half millimeter hook into any one of the side rows that we have along the bottom. Go ahead and insert your yarn onto your hook, pull through, do a chain up of one to secure, and now just like how we did for the hood, we're going to alternate between one to two single crochets into every side row. So let's find our first side row, this is mine right here. I'm going to insert my hook into that top loop with a single crochet into my following side row, insert my hook into that top loop with two single crochets. So there's one, and then there's two. And we're going to continue to alternate between one to two single crochets, making our way all the way around, and then slip stitch into that chain space. Then I'll meet back so we can finish up our second row. So we've made our way all the way around with our first single crochet row along the bottom, and we're just going to finish off this piece with another single crochet row, but now within the back loops to get a really fine line along the bottom. So right after we've slip stitched into that chain space, we are going to chain one, and we are going to continue to work in the same direction that we were just working into. So just find that first stitch's back loop, insert with a single crochet, and that's it. Continue putting one back loop single crochet into every stitch, then slip stitch into that chain space and do a chain up of one and cut. So our second back loop single crochet row is all finished, and we are all done with this piece. And now the last thing we're going to have to do is just weave in all of our ends. 
And there you have it. Hope y'all enjoyed the tutorial. Join us on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. Those links are down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Catch y'all the next one. Bye.